pathwaysoflight.org. Welcome to the reading, A Course in Miracles Workbook Lesson 55, Insights. Review of Lessons 21 through 25. I still must be believing in separation because I still see separate bodies. This tells me that I do not perceive my own best interests and that I do not know what anything is for. Thank goodness there is a guide in my mind that will help me out of this insanity. I need this guide to lead me out of insanity and guide me toward true meaning. All the ego's fearful thoughts mean nothing. There is only one way to return home. And that is to be willing to let go of thinking in terms of individuality. I do this with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit shows me that the dream is over. All are healed in the eternal now. Love's presence is all there is to see and feel and know in the eternal now. As I am willing to see things differently, I will see things differently. This is true about myself and everyone. Thank goodness. All of these dreams of separation are not real and mean nothing. No one has really left the mind of God and everyone is safe at home in heaven now. As I am led to remember this, the peace of God gently surrounds me and enfolds me in its loving embrace. All is very well. Nothing real can be threatened. Nothing unreal exists. Herein lies the peace of God. One of the main themes in this review is that everything I think I see is a projection of my own thoughts. And everything I see is a picture of individuality that opposes the thoughts of God. So my thoughts must be attack thoughts. The world I see could not have been created by a loving God for his beloved son. There is great hope in this review because what I see is a projection of my own thoughts and I can change my thoughts. I have the power to change what I see. I cannot do this on my own, but God has given me a guide to lead me out of the quagmire of insane thinking. Since this guide was given by God, it is guaranteed to work. This guide comes with an eternal guarantee from the eternal. My only job is to allow myself to be led. This guide will lead me back home to the heaven, my own advisor. As I turn over all my problems, my questions, my uncertainty to that inner guide, I become more and more peaceful. No longer do I have to effort and strain to figure out how to be happy and what might make me happy. I do not know, but the guide given me by God knows truly what will give me perfect happiness that lasts forever. I am willing to step back and let him lead the way. I accept his help with relief and great gratitude. All that I see comes from inside myself. I can see love no matter what is present because love is present. Love is present because love is me. I am love. I can be love and loving no matter what the place or condition or time or person. These are not limitations on love. There are no limitations on love. There are no limitations on me, myself. The ego sees limitations everywhere, 
The ego feeds on boundaries and crossed boundaries, these artificial lines drawn in the sand that make up our human lives and relationships. They shift with the winds like desert dunes, once here, then there. What do they mean but shifting demarcations, almost indistinguishable from one another except for their impermeance, their ceaseless change? What then is my life, the one I desire to see, the one of ceaseless joy? This is the life I choose to realize. I do not know how to manifest this life, for this is not of ego. I give to Holy Spirit the burden of sorting out the false from the true in my life. This burdens me, for I don't know my best interest and would worry what it is. This is no burden for Holy Spirit. This is Holy Spirit's joy. I rest in the peace that Holy Spirit has everything in order, sees that the divine plan is at work in my life. I trust in this. I would follow where this leads. I am thankful that I feel peaceful and joyful in this moment. Today, I follow peace and joy. Today, I follow what I am to where I ought to go pathwaysoflight.org.